Joseph Polo, uh, off the back of a fantastic win over France on Friday night, how are you looking forward to the tournament now? Yeah, it was a uh, great uh, for our confidence. Obviously, it set a very up for the team, and uh, we didn't know what to expect. And we just turned up two days before the camp, just met all the players, and then turned up for the game, and wasn't sure what was going to happen. And then we just shocked ourselves and even France. So it was good to. Uh, get the victory and it was great for our confidence. Had you played with many of the players before in the uh, US team? I played with about six or eight of the players. So half of the team came from Sydney and then half of the team came from Philly. And then, yeah, it's pretty much still learning names. So, so you were meeting people for the first time? Yeah, like yeah. two days before the game. Still learning names on the field while we're passing the ball to each other. So it's just pretty much, yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, over here. But like, nah, it was great for us to play that game, the trial. And just to see where everyone's at. I know many of the players, so it was good for them to get up. Were you amazed at how well you did, given that build-up? Yeah, with the short preparation that we had, it was awesome, because I don't think half of the team knew what we could do, so it was just great for us to get the victory, but we obviously put it behind us now, and just looking forward to the Cook Islands. Though. You should have got a lot of uh, confidence from that, though, um, and a lot of uh, feedback from around the world. I was watching it live yeah, yeah. on on the internet um, I should think I wasn't the only one expecting France to start yeah, scoring yeah. some points <laughs> but you, you hung in there and then took your opportunities didn't you? Yeah we uh, definitely um, created enough opportunities and we took them when we had them so it was just really a proud moment for the USA Rugby League it's uh, the biggest victory we've had in history against the top four team you know and uh, for us that was just a platform that we're just ready to build on and we're just looking forward to getting closer and hopefully getting better. And uh, were you surprised by the quality of any of the players that you hadn't seen before? Yeah, there's a few players there, but um, I played in 2011 for the World Cup qualifiers. Yeah. And we had an American uh, domestic player named Michael Garvey, yeah. and he was based in Philly. So for him, from 2011 to now, where he spent two years in Australia playing in Q Cup in the lower grades, he's come a long way. And it's just great to see his development in rugby league because he scored our first try. He, he, was, he was very involved, wasn't he? He was really probably, strong. Yeah. And yeah. It's just to see his development and hopefully that can set a platform for the next kids who want to try rugby league in America. And what's your background? How do you end up being captain of America? So I qualify to America through my mother. She was born in American Samoa, which is Canada's the state of America. And um, I played in 2011, which was great. And, uh, one of the coaching staff asked me if I'd like to be captain and I was just said it would be proud if I could represent this country and uh, yeah, I just said yes at the moment. So Are great. there a lot of Samoan players, American Samoan players in the squad? Yeah, there's about seven or eight yeah. American Samoan players, so it's great that... It's a combination uh, of cultures in the yeah, squad. Yeah, there is different yeah. cultures in the team, American based, uh, boys come from Australia, and then the island boys, and the Hawaii boys. So yeah. It's great just to see us all come together and uh, be tight with the team. So now that victory has changed the way outsiders are looking at the USA's yeah, yeah. Um, chances. Has it changed what you think you can achieve in the World Cup? Oh, uh, not really. Like obviously, everyone just thought we're here to make our numbers and be happy to be in our first World Cup. But for us, we always had a plan to come here and shock the world. So as we did against France, we're just hoping we can do more of that against uh, Cook Islands in our first game. So as far as the Scotland match is concerned, uh, I would guess that you're just hoping to be in with a chance of qualifying by the time yeah, you yeah. play the final game. Sure. Like, obviously Scotland will be a, a big game for us. Every game is important for us. So, um, we'll be excited just to play another nation like Scotland that's come a long way in their rugby league too. So they're an emerging nation like Ireland and Wales, so it's, it's going to be a good experience for us. I should think your knowledge and Terry Matheson's knowledge of the NRL players that you're going to be playing against, like Peter Wallace, Luke Douglas, yeah. came that, that will be very very important for the yeah, yeah. US team. For sure. Obviously they're, uh, they're great players in Australia and they do well with their own uh, clubs. And uh, So we'll be keeping an eye out on those boys. And, but uh, for us, it's just about uh, Tom Hawks and just focusing on what we're good at, building towards uh, becoming a closer unit and uh, just keeping things simple.